Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's video, I'll be testing the obstacle avoidance capabilities of the brand new DJI Mini 3 Pro drone. I'm out in one of my favorite places to fly. It's somewhere out in the Pine Barrens, or as Springsteen likes to say, somewhere in the swamps of Jersey. And I'm out here in a very private spot, and I picked this spot specifically because if you look behind me, I've got a lot of trees, I've got a lot of fallen trees, and a whole lot of branches sticking up. So I think if I'm looking for a torture test, I couldn't have picked a better spot than this area behind me. So what I'm gonna try and do is actually crash the drone because I've turned on obstacle avoidance. I have it in bypass mode. Now you have a couple of choices with your obstacle avoidance. You can turn it off and you can fly without it. That's just fine. You can work without a net. But if you turn it on, there are two modes where it's gonna recognize an obstacle. In the first mode, it's gonna stop when it sees it. So if it sees an obstacle and you're approaching it quickly, it's gonna stop. The second mode is bypass, and that's where APAS comes in. That's the advanced pilot assistance system that actually will navigate a hole around all the solid objects. So it's constantly building a wireframe of everything in front of it, looking for the holes. So if I force it forward, it's gotta find that hole and navigate through it. Now, a couple of things that won't happen here. When I put on bypass mode, you can't move the drone left and right anymore. It's locked in on a straight course forward. Now, it'll make adjustments on its own, but remember, there is no sensing on either side of it. So it gets a little bit dangerous if the drone has to move too far to either side, but I'm hoping that that wide angle view in the front, as far as the obstacle avoidance goes, gives me a little bit of headway either way, but again, I haven't tested it. So what I'm really gonna do is put it through a torture test, and I'm gonna fire it at these trees a couple of times and see how far I can go through that really gnarly area in the back there, because man, I really wanna test this, and I'm gonna keep it low enough so if I do crash into something, I'll be able to find the drone and retrieve it. But anyway, it's gonna be a really cool test, so hang on, and here we go. Boy, I hope that was helpful. That was so much fun firing the drone at those trees. And honestly, a couple of times I'm looking down at the screen and I can see a lot of trees in front of me. And this little guy figured out that there's trees over here, over here, there's a spot over there. Let me get into that spot and navigate through it. So I think it's done a phenomenal job. I will be honest with you though, it depends a lot on how much light you have. This has to have a lot of light so it can tell contrast between solid objects and open space. And I've had one test that I did way down in the darker part of this forest where it did okay in the first couple of tests, but to be honest with you, I really pushed it into a dark area where it really couldn't see the different surfaces and it clipped a tree. So I'll show you that after I'm done talking here, but I did have one crash today, which put a nice little nick on the top of the drone there. But overall, I just can't, I can't get over how smart this guy is when it's looking at an environment, trying to figure out and navigate where it's gonna go and how it's gonna get around the trees. Cause all I did in those tests was pointed at a forest 
hit the joystick forward at full speed, by the way, and it went into that forest, found the holes, and navigated around those trees. Now, it's not perfect because it doesn't have side sensing like a lot of the drones out there, but to be honest with you, if you're flying in an environment like this and you're trying to fly through a bramble like I was trying to fly through, or you're chasing somebody through the woods like this, <laughs> it's going to miss all the big trees. And again, it missed a lot of small branches too. So for my money, that A-Pass technology is rock solid. And again, I am blown away by the capabilities of a 249 gram drone to have obstacle avoidance built into it, 4K at 60 frames a second, flies for 47 minutes. I don't know how you build a better drone than this one. So that's just my two cents on it. Now, stay tuned because I have so many more clips we're working on. I've got a ton more tests that I'll be doing. I'm gonna be doing comparisons between the Mini 3 Pro and a bunch of other drones. I've got new technology coming forward as far as accessories go, ways you can charge it, ways you can protect it, how you can carry it around. So I'll put clips up on that as well. And I have a whole lot of other technology we're gonna be reviewing this summer. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Hit that subscribe button right down there and join the Drone Valley family because we'd love to have you as part of the family and I promise you we got a lot of cool stuff coming up so if you have any questions about the Mini 3 Pro or anything I've covered today drop those in the comments below and I promise to get back to you as quickly as I can I just love testing this kind of technology and I hope you guys are enjoying these clips so thanks again for watching and until next time <laughs> happy flying mm -hmm.